What's up guys, Justin here from The Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to import a reference image and set it to scale inside your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this can be valuable for a lot of reasons, but in this case, we're going to bring in a floor plan because a lot of the time you'll get a floor plan image that you wanna model on top of. So to start off, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type in picture and hit the enter key. That's gonna bring up the option to open an image file. And in this case, I have an image file that I've used for my SketchUp channel, but we're gonna use it here as well. So what we wanna do is we wanna find whatever the file is that we wanna bring in, and we just wanna double click on it. That is going to open up a little point inside of our 3D space. So notice how I can move around in here. I'm going to set a base point, then I'm gonna click in order to move this, and I'm gonna click again in order to import this. Now, note that you can try to get this closer to right on your first go round. I'm not gonna to worry too much about that for right now. All right, and so we brought this in, but if we were to open up the Analyze toolbar, and we were to use the Measure tool, so I'm gonna use the Measure Distance tool right here. So say I was to click on this point and then move my mouse over and click on this point over here, Notice how that's gonna tell me I have a distance of 147 foot, three inches. Well, that's obviously wrong because this object needs to be 57 feet, 10 and a half inches. So there's a couple different ways that we can do this now. Um, one of the things that I find helpful is to actually draw a line in here so that I have points to inference to, but you don't have to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a quick line. So I'm just gonna find my endpoint. So I'm supposed to be measuring from here to here between these two points, right? So if I click, I've drawn a line right here. Well, now what I wanna do is I want to type in scale 2D. So I wanna look for the scale 2D function right here. And it's gonna ask for me to select my objects to scale. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to scale both my line and my image right here. You could just select your image. But when we're done, we're gonna hit the enter key. And now it's going to ask us for a base point. Well, notice how because I drew this line over here, I can just click on this point and it's really easy to find. And then it's going to ask for my first reference point, which is gonna be this point right here. And so what I wanna do is I wanna type in a value um, of the length that I want this line to be. So I'm basically gonna type in 57 foot, 2.5 inches, and I'm gonna hit the enter key. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to resize my image inside of Rhino. So if I was to go back in and measure this again, right? So if I was to click on this point and then this point, notice how now the distance between these two is 57 foot, two and a half inches. And I should have done 10 and a half inches. So we'll fix that real quick. And so one thing to note about this is when you bring this in, usually you're gonna bring it in with the intention of actually modeling on top of it, right? So one thing that you might wanna think about doing is you might wanna think about locking it in place. Because right now, if I was to accidentally click and drag, notice how it's gonna move this image around. That's just gonna kinda of mess everything up. So what we wanna do is we want to pop open the layers toolbar. So we're gonna to go to panels, layers, and we wanna add a layer for our image. So we're just gonna call this floor plan image right here. And then we're gonna select this image file and we're gonna put it on the floor plan image layer right here. Well now what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me the ability to both toggle it off, which we don't want. It's also gonna give me the ability to lock it. And so when I lock this, now if I try to drag on this, it's not going to move around if I accidentally click and hold and drag. So you can use this in order to bring in a reference image and then lock its location so that you can model on top of it inside of Rhino. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, anything that isn't working for you. So love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.